Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. I'm gonna bring y'all along for another What's for Dinner. Hey y'all, it's Saturday, and we are doing easy supper tonight because tomorrow is Easter dinner. So I've got a lot of cooking to do. I've gotta start on deviled eggs tonight. Anyway, tonight we're just having we're trying these. We haven't ever tried these before. I mean, obviously at Arby's we have, but we haven't done it at home. So I'm excited to have these. And then we're going to be making Sloppy Joe's sandwiches. Um, I like the bold kind. So I'm just now getting the um, ground beef going. And yeah, that's supper tonight, y'all. Super easy. Okay, y'all, it is time to eat. I burned a few of the um, Arby's fries. That was my bad. <laughs> I opened it up. It still had like six minutes left. I thought I needed to shake it one more time. Yeah, no, they were done. But let's eat. Hey, y'all. It is Easter, so happy Easter. I know this is late for y'all, but we are getting dinner ready. We're eating at 1.30 today. My family is coming over. I'm prepping deviled eggs now, so I just thought I would kind of show you what I use in my deviled eggs. I know everybody does it a little bit differently, but I did a dozen eggs. I hard boiled those last night and just left them in the fridge. I just put all the yolks in here. I'm going to use about two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, um, about two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise, um, just about a teaspoon of mustard, and then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and of course, sprinkling paprika on top. That's how we like it. Um, sometimes I'll sneak in a little extra of the vinegar. I like mine really tart, but that's how I've been making it for years. One other thing I wanted to mention, I started doing this several years ago and it's been a lifesaver. I put all of this into a Ziploc baggie and I zip it up at the top and then at the bottom I just cut a little hole and I use it like a piping bag and pipe it into the eggs. Just makes it a whole lot easier, not nearly as messy. Okay y'all, so this is dinner. Well, we're going to call this luffer because it's midday. <laughs> but we are having green bean casserole. Mac and cheese, my mom made the mac and cheese, deviled eggs, ham, and the King's Sweet Hawaiian Rolls, and then my sister brought a red velvet cake for dessert. Mm. And these two over here wanted to be on camera. Hey, don't forget me. Oh, of course not. I forget you. <laughs> you me. She gotcha. Oh, that's my dad. That's my nephew, Brody. Hello. Hi. Hi. And this is Mama Fran. Y'all have seen Hello. Mama Fran before. Hello. All right, we're going to eat. I forgot to say why there's ketchup on the table. Brody, do you want to tell them why there's ketchup on the table? You have no idea. Why did I have to get the ketchup out? So I can put it on my ham. Oh, he eats ketchup on his ham. He eats ketchup on everything, y'all. Also, you didn't know I was bringing out the fine china for today, did you? Clips and plates. No tigers. <laughs> Hey y'all, it is Monday night and we are having leftover Easter ham and I just did a steamable bag of broccoli and made some mashed potatoes really quickly and that is what's for dinner. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday and today is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> we are having tacos. We're starting to get everything ready now. Um, these were leftover shells from the last time we had tacos. What I do is I buy the big pack of the stand and stuff shells. I think there's 15 in there. And we usually use about half of them the first time. And then I just put them in a big Ziploc bag. And they're still crispy and fine for the second time. So I get two meals out of that one box. Then we've got a few soft shells. And I'm going to be making this queso cheese dip that I saw on The Welder's Wife. She did it on her What's for Dinner one time. And we've had it one time before. We're going to have it again tonight. It's about a half a container of half and half about a teaspoon of ground cumin, a can of diced green chilies, and 16 slices of white American cheese. Just melt that all together, like combine it all together, and that's it. It's so easy, and it's perfect to have with taco night. All right, y'all, it's time to eat. Tacos are served. The queso dip looks heavenly. We are just using the Great Value, um, the thin cantina-style tortilla chips. They're 92 cents a bag. I love them. That's what's for dinner. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday and this is about to go down. Tonight, uh, my son and I were planning on going out. My husband had dinner with a friend um, again tonight and we were gonna, me and Cole were just gonna do a date, but 
we decided we wanted pizza instead. So we're going to give this Sam's Choice stuffed crust buffalo style chicken pizza a try and I will let y'all know what we think. All right, y'all. It's time to eat. I've taken one bite, as you can see. It's actually pretty spicy, which I'm excited about. I can't wait to get to the crust because it's stuffed crust. You see that? Give me all the cheese. Hey y'all, it is Thursday night and I am about to get supper started. We are having Greek chicken. This is a recipe that I got from my mom who got it from, she's in her apron. I fixed it just a few weeks ago on my channel. I'm gonna leave that link below so I'm not gonna show you everything tonight. But this is all that goes in it, just in case you're wondering if it's something you would like. You can see all the ingredients here. That's feta cheese and it'll be served over rice. So I'm gonna get this started and I'll show you the end result. All right, y'all, so this is Greek chicken. It looks so good, and we're actually not gonna sit at the table tonight. We're going to sit in front of the TV and we're gonna rent the movie, The New Mary Poppins. So that's the plan for tonight. It's gonna be movie night and load it up, Steven. That's what's for dinner. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so much, y'all. So I really appreciate it when you do that and when you comment below. So comment below and let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. With all of that being said, I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.